Alright, so here is the issue. Every time we pair a Bluetooth device, the system generates a unique key code. This key code lets the Bluetooth device recognize which system to connect to. But Windows and Linux doesn't share this key code. So when we switch between them, the key code stored in the OS doesn't match what the Bluetooth device expects. Here is what we do. We pair our device in Windows to generate a key. Then we will switch to Linux and find that key that we just generated in Windows. We will replace the old key with the one we got from the Windows. So both OS has the same key which is recognized by our Bluetooth device and our problem is solved. So first, we need to pair our Bluetooth device. So let's make sure it's paired. Currently it is not. So that's my headphones. I'll connect it. Okay, it is connected. Now I'll do done and I'll move to Ubuntu. Alright, so we are finally on Ubuntu, right? Now let's see if we are able to connect to our Bluetooth device. As you can see, we are not able to connect, which is cool. Let's open two terminal windows. We'll be using each of them. But first, let's open the partition which has our windows, right? Let's make sure. Okay, hidden files. So, we'll go to Windows, right? Look for System 2032. And look for Config. So, Config. Alright. So, this is the path to our directory. Make sure to co copy it. And... Right. Alright, we're in. So this is gonna, so we're gonna use a package, right? We need this. I'll put the um, installation script on the bottom. You, you should see it. Alright. We use this command. If you can't, be sure to install this package, right? So ls. Alright. So we're enter, gonna enter control set 001. It's gonna be something along the lines for you too. So, yeah. Control side so zero one. CD services. CD. Parameter. Parameters. Okay. CD keys. LS. Alright, we need the key name, right? Be sure to copy it. And paste it here. Alright, ls. Alright, node has zero subscript one value. Okay, we need this value, right? So copy this, right? And type hex. Right, so this is the code that we need. We, we're gonna come back to it later, right? So let's first minimize this and focus on this by the way i have all the scripts here i'll put it in the description so don't worry so sudo suit put our password all right um we need to enter the bluetooth directory so um cd uh, lib bluetooth all right we are in not type ls so you should see a folder like this for your bluetooth device if you ever paired it right so be sure to be sure to enter this folder it's going to be different for each of you guys so cd paste all right there is another folder that we need to enter so this is a different folder so we also need to enter this all right now once you enter it press ls you should see an info file so we need to edit this file use a, a use any text editor of your choice we're going to use nano nano info oh all right we used nano now we need to edit this key go to link key and edit this key so we're going to edit it. 
So, okay. Now, remember the key or the code we had? Yes, we're gonna paste it here. So, link key, paste it. Now, we need to get rid of all these spaces. So, and we, which, the, this, this key is from Windows. So, we're, uh, we directly took this key from Terminal. So, let's get rid of all these spaces. Be careful with this. All right. We have gotten rid of this. Be, be very careful when you're editing this because if you just miss one key, it's not going to work. All right. Press I. Press Enter. Enter. Okay. We are done here. Now, we are going to just to make sure. Let's see if this. Okay, we the edit was successful. Now, what we need to do is restart. So I will see you guys after I restart. All right, so we have finally restarted and let's see if we are able to connect to a Bluetooth device. So first, we need to make sure our Bluetooth device is turned on. All right, and after that, do not unpair and repair in either Windows or Ubuntu because if you do so the key is going to get reset and the keys are going to be a MAC address are going to be unsynced so you're going to have to do all the steps again so try try not to unpair or repair please do not do that so oh we automatically connected already the moment we turned on our Bluetooth device we connected so that is it for the video and let's uh, and make sure to go to Windows and see if it works. But do not try to uh, unpair and repair. If you do so, you're going to have to do the steps all over again. See you guys in the next video.